Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This lecture series deals with module 2 of 21 RMI 56 research methodology and intellectual property rights question bank with answer set 2. Question bank with answer set 1 for module 2 is available in the previous lecture series. So come let's go into the video. Determine the key features of web of science. So in the previous video, we have seen that there are two main search tools available. One is Web of Science and another one is Google and Google Scholar. Now in this question, we'll be focusing on the key features of Web of Science. So these are the key features where the Web of Science will increase the searching capabilities in terms of keywords or in terms of main concepts or based on algorithm. And it also sorts and refine the problem statement that we search. So it is not necessary to type the entire title or the methodology to find in. You can sort and refine the keywords so that the web of science helps you find the problem statement or the review paper at the earliest. And enhanced search strategies. Enhanced search strategies is nothing but keep on simply typing some problem statement getting the papers out of it instead of that we can move into a search technology more than that like in form of AI uh, AI based search and cited reference searches based on the reference that is cited in a particular paper the search can be made in web of science structured and informed results so here you can have a, st a structured and the Results that we will predict that this is how a result or a structure of a paper would be and access to detail information It is not about just the title. It also provides the title author's name year of publication what kind of journal or what kind of, kind of Conference it has been published. So these are the key features elaborate the answer accordingly second one differentiate critical and creative reading so critical and creative reading is nothing but critical reading is where you will be assuming how to question a particular statement or you may find an solution which is already not existing and there are some limitations in critical reading is that you you don't survey all the papers and take into solution you just go for the next uh, best solution that is available and data evaluation can be done in critical reading how whether the problem statement fits for the particular topic or whether the problem statement is really worth solving all those will be done in critical reading and creative reading is nothing but it is a kind of positive approach that you can feel so creating creating new ideas creating positive approach so when you're creating something new obviously you have some practical challenge and also the work can be extended. You cannot predict when the work or the problem statement can be done with the solution. And here you don't have data evaluation because we are just working on the problem statement. So you are going to understand the kind of evaluation that is available. So this is the difference between the critical and creative reading. Summarize the impact of title and keywords on citation. So when you cite a paper reference, title and the keyword are the more, most important things that plays an important role. So title is, the uh, it determines the length of the title, type of the title and the keywords must be important because the length, type and keywords will determine uh, under which topic or area the problem statement or the paper belongs to. And also the title plays an important role in marketing because when you are developing a product uh, based on uh, bl uh, blind people, a band for blind people, a band for blind people is one you are going to market. So the title plays a major role in marketing. And so there are different three different types of behavior of the title. One is type of the title. So what kind of title you are going to give, whether you are going to include the methodology name along with the title or it is going to be precise. And the length of the title, length of the title should, should be always long and precise. And then the pr presence of specific markers. Specific markers is about the semicolon, apostrophe, all those. Keywords. Keywords also plays an important role because keywords are the main 
uh, main words that is picked out from a review paper or a complete paper so that it is easy to find the article and read it and also it plays an important role in giving more information about what is it what a paper contains and also the probability of citation will increase only because of the keywords so this is the two impact uh, two main impacts so based on the keywords and title moving on to the next question explain the importance of attributions and citations and how do they ensure giving credit due where it's due so attributions and citations are much important because citation will be giving credits to the author that they have done the work and also the citing source will avoid plagiarism because one cited cannot be repeatedly cited and data if suppose if it is falsified or fabricated from the uh, citation it may uh, lead to plagiarism so that kind of thing can avoid plagiarism and citing will ensure that the data that is framed is completely transparent and it is of own work attribution is nothing but it is going to involve about the type of ideas or methodologies or the new findings of the author and also it it is going to play a fundamental role in avoiding the plagiarism falsification publication will be avoided and also it is going to demonstrate the respect that is given for uh, intellectual property right so how you are going to credit give a credit to the particular author so by citing citations can be improved by acknowledging you can acknowledge if you see the first page of a book chapters or the uh, book chapters or a review paper you can see thanks to mother and father thanks to a particular person so like that you can acknowledge you can reference a review paper can be referenced in your paper to improve their citations and based on attribution so these are the credit that you can give moving on to the next question demonstrate the three main functions of citations with example so three main function is nothing but verification acknowledgement and documentation verification is nothing but you are going to verify the information provided in a paper you are going to claim whether the particular data is validated or not and acknowledgement function is nothing but you are going to give a due credit through citations or acknowledgement documentation function is nothing but it is going to document the progress that has been done over time when you are going to find something ba uh, based on the research it, the time you take the complete time will be documented that is documentation function so, so these are the three important functions of citations moving on to the last question illustrate the type of citations with example there are four type of citations spurious biased self and coercive so coercive it it mainly depends upon the impact factor that is when you do a research you may come to know based on the h index i index you can see the impact factors of a particular paper self citation is nothing but you write a paper publish it in a journal and you write another paper you cite your own paper in your next paper that is self citation bias citation is nothing but you write a paper but you include your friend's paper colleague's paper even though it is not related to the particular topic you cite their work that is called as bias citation spurious citation is nothing but it is actually not required or it is not an appropriate one but uh, it is a citation that is never been used that's all so these are the four kinds of citations available you can explain this and give a real time example hope you have understood the tips please be stay tuned for more information thank you